Hello students. Today we are going to discuss variation in chromosome number and in this lecture we will be discussing part 1 that is aneuploidy. Variation in chromosome number is classified as euploidy and aneuploidy and euploids are further classified as monoploids, diploids and polyploids. Aneuploids are classified as hypoploids and hyperploids. Hypoploidy is when the chromosome number is less than the diploid counterparts and they are classified as monosomics and nullisomics. Hyperploidy is when the chromosome number is more than the diploid counterparts and they are classified as trisomics and tetrasomics. So in this flow chart you can see that aneuploids have uh, are classified as hypoploidy and hyperploidy. Hypoploidy is when there is less number of chromosomes and they are classified as monosomics where, and they are represented with 2 and minus 1. Minus 1 represents one less chromosome than the diploid counterpart and nullisomics represent 2 and minus 2. So 2 and minus 2 represents one homologous pair is missing. Monosomics are further classified as double mon uh, further extended to double monosomics where minus this is represented with 2 and minus 1 and minus 1. Minus 1 minus 1 represents double uh, these two belong to uh, the chromosome uh, two chromosomes which are mi missing they are belonging to two non-homologous sets and 2 and minus 2 minus 2 represents double monosomics where the minus 2 minus 2 condition represents the two uh, homologous pairs are missing but they are non-homologous with each other. Hyperploidy is when uh, the con number of chromosomes are more than the diploid counterparts and they are represented as 2 and plus 1 where plus 1 represents one extra chromosome and tetrazone is 2 and plus 2 where plus 2 represents one homologous pair is extra. Now euploidy is classified as monoploids which have only one set of chromosomes, diploids which, ha which have uh, two sets of chromosomes and polyploids have more than two sets of chromosomes. So you have to remember that polyploids are represented with 3x, 4x, 5x, 6x so on and not by n. So, so um, as per definition heteroploid is when numerical changes in chromosome number uh, are represented by euploidy and aneuploidy. Euploidy is if the numerical changes in chromosome represents exact multiple of basic chromosome number and aneuploids are when the numerical changes are not exact multiple of haploid chromosome number. Now there are some terms which we will discuss so which you will encounter in this particular unit. So you see that uh, when uh, what is basic number? So uh, basic number is the least gametic number of chromosome required for the survival of the species and it is represented by x. So if you see um, uh, what is basic number? A basic number suppose there is a species which has seven chromosomes and there are different species which belong to hexaploid, diploid, tetraploid but seven remains constant uh, during the course of evolution. So seven is the basic number uh, and basic number is uh, the total genes present in basic set of chromosome makes the genetic constitution or genome of the individual. So diploid has two copies of genome, triploid has three and so on and so here like I have written with this pen 6 into 7 so this represents that 7 chromosomes are present in 6 sets so this becomes 6x this represents a hex hexaploid this will be represented with 6x and not 6n it has 42 chromosomes because 6 into 7 is 42 and the gametic number is 21. Now there is second term which is chromosome complement. What is chromosome complement? The sets of chromosome present in an individual. So a diploid has two sets of chromosome, a triploid has three sets of chromosome, a tetraploid has four sets of chromosome and so on. A somatic number or zygotic number is the number of chromosomes present in somatic cells of individual. It is represented by 2n. So here you can see that somatic number is represented by 2n. Uh, while when we represent molyploids, sweet is represented by 2x. 
so gametic number is the number of chromosomes present in gamete of an individual and it is represented by so here in this uh, table you can see that uh, these are different species three different species first is called 2n is equal to 2x is equal to 14 so here x is 7 and 7 is present in two sets so we are writing 2x and 7 to 2 is, is 14 in second species x is 7 but it is present in four sets so 7 into 4 becomes 4x and this represents 28 then the same seven chromosomes are present in is six sets so seven into six becomes six x and this is equal to 42 so now the first species is triticum monococcum and triticum monococcum uh, has basic number seven chromosome complement two because it has two sets of chromosome gametic number is seven and somatic number is 14 in second species that is your uh, triticum durum or dicocum the basic rem number remains same but the chromosome complement has changed because the seven chromosomes are present in four copies so this is your 4x and somatic number becomes 28 in the third species which is seven chromosomes are present in six sets and this becomes 42 because seven into six is 42 so this becomes your triticum st1 so in the course of evolution in this table you can see that the diploid species from the diploid species hexaploid species as is developing but in the course of evolution the basic number remains same that remains same 7 while the gametic number is changing so here you can see that um, uh, whenever we are writing n remains fixed we are we are always writing somatic number as 2n 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 and similarly we will write gametic number as n n and n but you can see that uh, you can see that the chromosome complement is changing and gamete this is um, uh, gametic number is changing somatic number is changing while the basic number remains so the first class the first class of n euploidy is hypoploidy so what is hypoploidy hypoploidy is uh, further classified as monosomics what are monosomics monosomics are represented by 2n minus 1 because they have one chromosome less than the diploid counterparts and how do we define it where one of the chromosome gets lost due to non disjunction there will be one univalent or at zygotene and all other chromosomes for bivalence double monosomics are represented with 2n minus 1 minus 1 and here you can see that there will be two univalents because two chromosomes are missing from two a pair homologous pair nullisomics is when a homologous pair is missing and double monosomics are when two homologous pair are missing. hyperploidy uh, the second class of uh, aneuploidy is when there are more than more chromosomes than the diploid counterparts so first is trisomic where one of the chromosomes is in triplicate condition and one because of this one chromosome is extra so we represent it with 2n plus 1 tetrasomy is when one of the chromosome has four copies and so there are two extra chromosome that is why it is represented with 2n plus so in this uh, uh, picture you can see diploid is represented with 2n and here you can see that in this diploid there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8 chromosomes. Nullisomics, they are represented with 2n minus 2 because one homologous pair is missing. So you can see that this homologous pair is missing when we compare with diploid counterpart. And so it has 6 chromosomes which will be written as 3 uh, pairs. And the monosomics uh, represented with 2n minus 1. Why? Because you can see that the last pair from the last pair one pair is missing so this is these are seven chromosomes which will be written like this three pair plus one extra double monosomics you can see that they are written like 2n minus 1 minus 1 so here you can see that these two chromosomes are missing two from two different homologous pairs and so this is six and so this will be written as two pairs plus one plus one so you can see that 2n minus 1 and minus 1 and similarly 2n minus 2 both 
two chromosomes are missing from the th from first and and this third one but uh, this minus 2 is different from this minus 2 because here one homologous pair is missing while in this two in this two different chromosomes are missing which belong to two different homologous pair now in hyperploidy the th last three examples of our of hyperploidy so the first is trisomy it is represented with 2n plus 1 where you see that one extra chromosome is there and because of this this is last pair is in triplicate condition and so the chromosome number is 9 when you compare it with diploid which has 8 chromosomes this the second example of hyperploidy is tetrasomy where the one pair has four copies so these plus two represents that uh, this homologous pair is present in uh, this uh, this uh, homolo in this homologous pair two extra chromosomes gets added and that is why the chromosome number becomes 10 and double tetrasomy you have two extra chromosomes but they are added to two different homologous pairs so the chromosome number becomes 12 now you when we compare with uh, diploid counterparts so you can see this is normal it has a eight chromosomes while when in hypoploidy condition the chromosome number are less six seven and six while in hyperploidy condition when you compare it with diploid they are nine ten twelve which are more than the diploid counterparts so this is why they are called hypoploids and hyperploids i hope that the topic aneuploidy is clear and you can ref uh, from this lecture and you can refer uh, peers nostad clucks and gummings griffiths to understand this topic better you can also refer pk gupta for this and uh, thank you students we will be meeting in this next lecture now